Hi there, thanks for joining me here on Journey to Home Sweet Home. I'm Pearl and in this video I'm going to show you what I am putting in my donation box for the One Box Challenge hosted by Rachel from the Sweet and Simple Home. Rachel puts on this challenge every season and this is my second time participating. So thank you Rachel for the invitation. If you want decluttering and organizing and life inspiration, be sure to check out Rachel's channel. And if you're new here, I hope you'll stay a while and consider subscribing to get more decluttering and organizing inspiration and motivation. In the challenge, we were asked to fill one box of things that we're getting rid of. And I've been working through the KonMari method. So I mostly have books and clothing but I have a couple of items that I threw in the box. So here, let me show you. So since I have a lot of clothing that I'm getting rid of, I'll try to go through this quickly, but I am getting rid of this uh, pink turtleneck um, for my daughter. She outgrew this. I'm also gonna be getting rid of this polo shirt that my son uh, no longer it no longer fits him. Here's a beautiful ruffled sweater. I love this sweater I love this sweater so much both my daughters wore that but it's time to now say goodbye And we have plenty of pictures with them in it. So that's a great tip like if you are having trouble um, You know parting with a piece of clothing that you really love seeing on your child or even yourself um, before you do get rid of it or you know that they're going to outgrow it, um, just before that, just let them wear it. Um, even just on an everyday outing, just let them wear it and take a picture of them in it. It will um, serve as a great memory. So, and you won't feel that, um, you won't feel like you'll have to keep it. Okay, so I'm getting rid of these tights. I really like these ones because they have um, the really nice fancy buttons on them, but it no longer fits her. So I am going to get rid of them. Now I should mention that I am looking for a site that I can just um, sell them on, or I might do Facebook marketplace, but um, some of these clothes are in really good condition, like really good. And so I do want to um, sell them. So if I can, okay, this is an old Navy polar fleece sweater. So there's a lot of polar fleece. Uh, there's another one from Old Navy polar fleece sweater. I love these because of the frills and I'm a girly girl. I like frills and lace and ruffles and so I really like that. Um, here's another one. I think this one's children's place. Okay, then I have this ballerina top. These little tights, it has little ruffles on the back. I'm getting rid of these pants, these yoga pants and they have the hearts on them so cute but it's time to get rid of those this beautiful um joe fresh floral ruffle top and i really love that it's um vintage floral pair capris love this as well because it's got the ruffle um sleeve i guess you call it cap sleeve and the butterflies. Another pair of capris. Um, this is a capri jeans and it, I love all the embroidered um, cloth embellishments. And there's one on the back pocket here. Okay, these are another pair of capris folded at the bottom. And then a pajama. Sorry guys, so trying to show you guys. Pajama it has like the ruffles on the bottom and they are horses, a uh, horse print. Now, there is the matching top to it here. This t-shirt, um, another top. This sweater has beautiful um, like gold thread or silver thread in it. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera, but this is also a bow, another polar fleece sweater v-neck and a Winnie the Pooh sweater Capri's so this one was never even worn um, just because it never fit my both of my daughter's waists but on the other hand I had the 
uh, this color to it and it's the exact same pen um, but for some reason this one fit and so they wore this one just a few pair of like rain pants you know that nylon kind of rain pants they don't really ever wear it but they've also outgrown it um, then I'm getting rid of this skirt rid of this sweater from my son then I um, I think my son he got this as a gift but he's outgrown it so now we are going to pass this on to someone who will love that and then another sweater acrylic promise you guys I'm almost finished all the clothing um, I'm saving the best for last I have a few dresses that are really pretty Oxford dress shirt for my son then I have a corduroy pant these um, velour pants are summer pants they are that summer material that is that keeps you cool in the summer it's got like the ruffles on the back pockets so super cute hate to see this go all my girls clothing I don't know if you guys are like me with girls clothing but I just go gaga for girls clothing with uh, ruffles and lace and just any kind of little design and I like that kind of clothing for me as well but it's a little bit harder to find that for grown-ups um, at an affordable price okay then just a nice thin cotton shirt okay then I just have an halter that I am getting rid of um, they never really wore this I don't know why I kept it now I have a few dresses and I have some really fancy ones coming but this was uh, one of their sundresses, summer sundresses. Then they had this beautiful chambray dress and they wore the heck out of this dress and I love this dress. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this beautiful Easter dress and it ties at the back into a bow um, and it was buttoned down. And both my girls had a dress like this but this is my youngest girl's um, size. It doesn't fit her anymore. So I am getting rid of hers. But we still do have my oldest daughter's, which is now going to be handed down to my youngest. So she, my youngest still gets to wear it. So this is the um, like a, a party dress. So really fancy party dress that I had bought for my oldest to go to a wedding. And then since then, they've just been wearing it to birthday parties and their own birthday parties. So this is my son's belt. I am getting rid of their figure skates. They have outgrown this one. Also, this helmet doesn't fit, so we are getting rid of it. Now, I have this that I found in a closet. And so I'm getting rid of this. I am just going to be throwing this away in the garbage because this is a, you know, potty seat and no one's going to want to buy this so um, I'm going to be throwing this away but I thought I'd just show it um, I don't know why I was holding on to this because they haven't needed this in like three years about three years so I'm not sure why we hold on to things sometimes okay I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you all the magazines that I'm getting rid of and that will conclude the video, but I'm going to show you what um, I don't want to do the individually because I think you guys get the idea about magazines. Mm. Those are all the magazines I'm getting rid of. And if you watch my Kamari whole home declutter series and you go to the magazines, you will see all the magazines that I was getting rid of. And these are all of them here. I hope this was very motivating to you. I hope that you'll declutter something today. And if you want more decluttering motivation, check out my KonMari Whole Home Declutter playlist. I'll link that here. Be sure to watch the One Box Challenge playlist that I will link in the show notes below. And take a look at Rachel's channel for more decluttering inspiration as well. If you like this video, you know where to find the thumbs up button. Share the love by sending this video to a friend. And if you have not subscribed yet, you'll want to do so so you can stay motivated. Thanks so much for being here today and I'll see you again soon.